Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how you insert a graph paper to be the background of your slides in such a way that when you're working on the slides, if you click on any of the lines there, they are not active. They are permanently fixed onto the background of your slides so that even when you go to the slideshow, you have this beautiful background to be the background of your slides. Now, how do you do this? Let's go to PowerPoint where I'll show you how you insert this graph paper to be the background of your slides. Over here, I have a new PowerPoint file already opened. So the first step is of course to go into the first slide. And then while I'm here, I'll go into blank layout over here. And I've got a blank layout here. And because I want my page to be as large as possible, put up that pane. Let me go to full screen. Then I'll go to insert, go to shapes, insert a line there. And I want to draw the first horizontal line here. And I want to ensure that that line is parallel to the edge of the slide. And I do this by just moving it all the way to the slide. If everything up to the edge of the slide rather, if it is parallel, then it will fit exactly. But if it's not parallel, it will be, it will take a shape like that one. So take that point and move that one all the way up to the end like that. Ensure that the line does not touch this other edge, neither does it touch the other edge. And then move it, maybe two or three uh, spaces inside. I think two will do. Now I'm going to format this line because I'm going to use it over and over again. So I got format. One of the things is to ensure that it is as sharp as possible. First of all, go to weight over here. And I think that weight is uh, good enough there. And then I will color it, of course, green. And then I'm going to copy and paste that line. But this time, I'll ensure that it is vertical. Again, I've got to ensure that it is parallel to this other edge there, and it is. Therefore, I move it uh, two or three spaces inside. And I think that one will be enough. Let me move it slightly a little bit more there. Then I can increase its length all the way maybe up to the bottom there. Remember this line has got the same thickness as this one. It is the same. Again, I'm going to copy and paste that. I ensure that it is par first of all parallel to that. And, and then I will count five spaces to the right. One, two, three, four, five. That is where that line will be. I'm going to copy and paste that line, move it to this other line here, and then move it one, two, three, four. Up to that point, then change its weight. I want its weight to be a quarter of a point, something like that, or even half a point. Remember, its weight is one point. I can make it half a point. And then, I copy and paste there. Then I'll come to the two of these, copy them and paste. And once that one is full, what I will do in order to fill up the whole of this space, I'll come here, copy this all the way up to that point and then paste. So I'll first of all, come here, count just one space to the right like that, then move it up there. Then repeat the process. And of course, at the end, I don't need these four lines. So I delete this.
Now the next is to draw the horizontal lines. I'll just copy one of these. And there you have your graph paper. Now you want this graph paper to appear on every slide that you create. In other words, a new slide. Because you can go to view. And here is your first graph paper. If I create the next slide, that is a new slide. You can see that doesn't have the graph paper. But maybe you want this graph paper to appear here. What do you do? You will copy the whole of this graph paper like that and then group all those lines so that it acts like one shape. Once you have grouped that, copy it. Of course you can come here and paste it here but since I don't want to repeat that, I want every slide that I create to have this grid, this is what I will do. Go to view, slide master, and then go to this first slide over here. Then go to background styles. Of course, I want the color to be white. And then over here, I'm going to paste my grid. And there it is. And you can see that every slide that I will create will have this graph paper. And then I can save that, then go to view, normal, and there you have it. So every slide that I create will have that grid. You can see every slide. Now you can see that now when you're working on this slide, if you click on it, there is no way you're going to distort it. Now you can draw here, you can draw your axis, you can draw any object in this particular space and it won't change. In other words, your background, the background of your slide is a graph paper. And that is how you would create a simple graph paper on a PowerPoint slide.